Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a very fun video. I'm actually doing a video with my mom and we're going to be decluttering her room. I just wanted to pop in here and give you guys a little intro before I actually head over. I'm about to leave and it's actual winter right now outside. It's November and it's 20 degrees. Anyway, back to the intro. So my mom actually lives with a friend um, when we moved out of our place we were living in for years. She decided not to get her own place. She will not live there forever where she is now, but she has like a space that is a big room and it's a multifunctional space for her. It's like where she does her business. I'll show you guys that later and where she sleeps obviously. It's her closet. And this has been a project that I've wanted to do for a very long time because she has a lot of stuff. She has a lot of clothes and I think she's finally inspired to get rid of things. So I'm just so excited to go through and do this with her and hopefully refresh her space. And I know the one thing that is going to be difficult is like figuring out where things maybe could change. Um, she doesn't really like buying you things as far as organization goes so we're really gonna try to make do with what we have i hope this works out i'm really excited to go over there and show you guys the process and hopefully it'll inspire you to maybe help your parents help someone um, or for yourselves even um, just to live a simpler life because that's definitely the path that i am trying to take to make it easier for myself so let's head over to my mom's house so this is my mom's space and as you can see over here, this is the shelving unit that came from our house. She has a vanity closet over there. Um, this was over here, but we had to remove it. She has her nightstand. This bed, there's no bed frame, so that's one bad thing. Under the bed store, it's just not a thing over here. And over here, she has two dressers. These were ours, so she took both of them. I really want to go through these clothes, get rid of some so she can actually put some stuff in there. Um, I don't know what this is actually, just more stuff. And she has more stuff there, another closet. And over here is her business. So she has been buying and selling Louis Vuitton bags on Mercari. So this was actually filled with all books. Her, um, the person that owns this place, she had mad books there and things. So now she has the shelves. And this is where she does her like cleaning of the bags and stuff. And there's storage under there. I helped last time, but we have more to do. I don't know if she knows about the KonMari. I think I mentioned it. Do you know KonMari, mom? No. Well, she's going to be exposed to the KonMari method. We're going to go through. KonMari? All of these drawers. Look. All the shirts. Just, there's a lot. There's a lot, guys. There's a bunch of coats in there. It's going to be very exciting. So we have a lot of clothes, junk. My mom is excited. She's already talking about how I'm going to ransack her wardrobe, which is kind of true. She has clothes that she's had since I was in high school, probably even middle school. So I'm excited to put everything on her bed. She's never done that before and really take a look at what she has and to go through everything. And then we're going to get started on the junk. I think that once we empty some drawers out, she'll have drawers for storage since she does not have under the bed storage. So that is the first thing that I wanna get done. Okay, mom, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all of the clothes and we're gonna put them on the bed. Everything, every single thing. Yes, great. Here we are, we're doing it. The pile is, is growing. <laughs> you see, I'm organized, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, mom is very good at folding her clothes. See? She actually knew about the KonMari folding method before we did, like someone taught her like a friend from long ago when I was in middle school taught us how to fold our clothes this way. But Marie Kondo, man, she's the one that capitalized on it. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Pretty. It's very colorful, very colorful wardrobe. <laughs> Unlike me. All right, the first one's empty. And now we have to go into this one. Nope, there's not much in that one. This one's actually a little broken. I should try to fix that with wood glue or something. Oh no. More of this? I didn't realize there was more in here. Yes. Oh my god. My Adidas. Mom loves her athletic wear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the pile. The stuff on top is coats. There's still some summer stuff in there, but I'm not going to get it. Now the next step is you have to go through each piece of clothing and see 
and um, ask yourself if it makes you happy, if it brings you joy. Oh my god. If it doesn't, you gotta get rid of it. What? <laughs> and be real with what you actually wear. You know? Wow. Yep. So we're gonna put on some I music. I'm gonna pick those stuff that I wear all the time. Yeah, that's what you know. You like you like the way it fits on you, like the way it looks. Mm-hmm. What you're comfortable in. Wow. And the rest. Yes. We'll go. So this is the donate pile so far. We made some progress. This is summer stuff that's being thrown away. This is going to the Philippines. And that is her keep pile like for winter and now. Making some progress. So we've made progress. We actually just emptied out the top of the closet up there. And there are a bunch of records that are not ours. But we found some really cool records like old Beatles ones. I'll show you guys like this really old one. They have Jackson 5. So many different ones. So we're going to clean up there. Maybe we'll put stuff up there. We shall see. Um, like summer clothes, things like that. Here in this closet, she has this shoe holder. And as I can see, there are a lot of summer shoes. So I'm going to go through and get rid of those so we can pack them away. And we didn't go through these clothes. I'm not sure if I will. I mean, a lot of it is summer, I have a feeling. And there's, there's also that down there. That's her stuff for packing and stuff. So we're just gonna find a place for everything right now. So what I'm currently doing is actually putting nails into the wall to give her a place to hang some bags, her umbrellas, because currently she has her umbrellas in this and it was just really over cluttered. So I made sure that each compartment had one shoe because she was doubling up. So I think that that really helped make it really clean looking because it was just so much going on and also she had her umbrellas in here and it's just not the right shape for umbrellas so I'm going to put some nails so she can hang them on the side of the closet maybe right here I already did one over here for her little bag and I think that worked out very well and in the back of the closet I actually put two nails there's one and another one because I can put some more bags and that is filled with more bags. She just has so many bags, it's her thing. Mom made some food, some chop suey. Thanks, Mom. It's very yum. So we've been working very hard. We have been organizing the uh, dresser, also the shelving unit behind me, and the closet, which is over there. Just going through some more drawers, and it's currently... 5.30. Been here all day. Not really done, but we did get a lot done. So I'll be showing you guys what we got done at the end of the video and hopefully there's a big difference. So it is the end of this cleanup day. We did a lot. So I'm going to show you guys what we did. So we didn't really work on this side of the room. Um, we just left all my mom's stuff. Oh, she is doing stuff. Here's the first closet. We actually took out all the coats. This is full of coats. So we have ones that are for fall in the back and we didn't go through any of this because there's just too much stuff. This is just like part one. And then the first dresser, there's me as a child. We have all of her packing stuff for when she does orders and um, more office supplies. And she has definitely gotten rid of a lot of clothes. Like these are all her pants. And these are all her shirts. She had like two two things of shirts. It was wild. This is empty. I didn't even realize this was empty. Um, pajamas. I'm really happy with this. And this is empty. Oh my goodness. That is left like that because that's where she puts her laptop. She hooks it up to the TV and watches people on Facebook. Um, this is broken. It's fine. She just has her sewing kit and things are moved out of there. And this is like pretty much empty because that one's kind of broken. Underwear and socks we didn't go through, and this is also, did not go through these. But over here is where the big change happened. This was actually in there. So this is all like clear and just nicer. Um, this is like colored pencils she has to sell and albums and 
things she has to go through, papers she has to go through, albums, and those are actually bundles that she's selling, so they have to stay bundled. And then at her vanity, I organized this. It's a lot less cluttered because I got rid of a lot of it, and now she can see everything. I put her perfumes there, so it's like nice and pretty. Washed her makeup brushes, and there's just more space for stuff. So now that we got rid of those records, there is just storage up there. And in the back, I put the hooks, so there's things hanging back there. Hooks on the walls for her purse. There's another hook up there, but I did not put anything there. And that's empty. And this is stuff she still has to go through. And then the shoes are nicely organized and not cluttered. How do you feel about this, Ma? Good. Get rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah, we uh, had how many garbage bags? One and a half? Four. One garbage bag, two donations, one Philippines. Yeah, a lot of bags. Mm -hmm. This is stuff I'm taking. And over here, um, we just used like a Tupperware to put her stuff like that she uses at night. And yeah, just organized a little more. I don't know where this chair goes though. Mom got these Fendi glasses. How much were they? $15. $15. I can't see. I think they make my eyes look small. I have <laughs> even looked at myself in the mirror. So when I see this clip, I will see what I look like. There's mom. Hey guys, it's future me. So I just wanted to let you guys know about the whole room cleaning after it's all been done. Um, it was a really big project and I'm really happy that we tackled it and I feel really good about my mom's space and she does too. So yeah, it was just a nice bonding experience for us. I've been trying to live by example and just consume less and declutter more and trying to live with less. And I think it rubbed off on my mom, so I'm really happy about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought that it was fun, maybe inspiring, and I hope you're having a magical day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.